Yes. Sorry? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, counsel, what do we have? A contempt for today? Yes, Your Honor. Um, and I, um, it, it, it's, 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 uh, to be honest with you, Your Honor, it's, it's a plea. I've been doing this for a long time, quite too long, uh, 30 years. And this complaint for contempt is it's one of the strangest things I've ever seen. Um, I assume this isn't your complaint for contempt. It's not, Your Honor. Um, my clients, um, they've been here numerous hearings, but this is contempt that did not appear for. We were here last week on a motion for temporary order. She did not appear for us. She did not appear for the defense. But she did not appear for the speech call in January. This is not the first time I've seen. This man was under the impression. What is that noise? Is that one of them? Uh, to the parties, could you put your phones on or your Zoom on mute? Thank you. Oh, sorry, counsel. Uh, you want to so, um, my client is owed over five hundred dollars for lost wages for a court appearances that the state defendant did not appear for. Uh, he does it locally. So today he was on he wanted to a FaceTime between the mother and the daughters and the indications were that Mr. Defendant was living out of state most likely wouldn't be appearing today because there'd been no motion to appear by Zoom. So I told my client, he's missed days to work. He has sole physical custody of the girl. He needs he needs to work. And I told him, if you have phone notice, he could be here in 30 minutes, half and not 45 minutes. Uh, but for him to miss $280 worth of wages, uh, I thought it was unfair. So he can't come here in present. He's here on the phone. This... Sorry, I'm trying to find a complaint for contempt. Oh, um, but I am listening. It's, it's, it's a big docket. I, so, um, I, I'll leave it to the court's discretion if they want to proceed in this manner, but there was no motion filed by Ms. D. Consensus of Care, uh, virtually. Um, you know, I would ask that the court dismiss her complaint for contempt without prejudice if she's whole time to refile and appear in person. Counsel, I appreciate that, but, um, we are all here, so I'm going to move forward and, and deny that motion. Um, ma'am, can you hear me? I can. Okay, this is your complaint for contempt. Of yes, your he um, continuously disobeys the court's rulings. Um, he does literally whatever he wants. I want to go back to the contract that the plaintiff and I signed that was signed off by Judge Abby Ross because that is a contract that is protected under our Constitution. It is a constitutional right that judges obey contracts. This judge, Judge Black, did not obey a constitutionally protected contract. And she kidnapped my children for no good reason. I want my children back and I want that contract obeyed. Because that was signed off by a judge. The separation agreement is a contract. Had the court respected the con my constitutional rights in that contract, there wouldn't be all these court se sessions to begin with. So I would like the court to make right what they made wrong. So ma'am, I'm looking at your complaint for contempt. Uh... What you're alleging here is that there was a court order on June 19, 2020, and you're asking him not to permit the children to be in the presence of Kyle Woodman? Um, the court is facilitating the trafficking of my children. He is bringing them over to Kyle Woodman's mother's house. He, he, the plaintiff and his attorney, submitted the evidence to the court proving that so now the court is enabling the trafficking of my children and it needs to end anything else you want to add ma'am no okay, that anything else you want to i want this contract abided by there's no there was never any reason that the court had outside the court stated that I lost my children because I let them stay with their father for two weeks. 
That is not a reason to take children away from their mother. That's called kidnapping. So I want my children back today. And counsel, what is the current court order on custody? And I and also I want to do say that I do have that recorded. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm asking counsel a question. I'll get back to you. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, my clients had uh, physical custody of the girls for a couple of years now. Um, the mother was, have, was to have was having parenting time supervised by a third party. Um, she was not allowed to have a boyfriend present at these visits. We have pictures of her with the boyfriend and the girls at a feature. You know, the girls before the boyfriend was there. So on, on May 21st, 2021, the mother was ordered to have supervised visits paid by a supervisor. She has not had visitation with the girls since then. Uh, she's allowed three FaceTime visits a week. Um, she's been ordered to undergo alcohol and drug testing, which she has refused to do. Um, beyond this Kyle Whitman allegation, uh, Kyle's mother, Miss Sharon, is actually the, uh, Mrs. DiCosenzo's sister. Uh, my, the, the father had, the girls went over to see their aunt for a weekend in September 12th to the 13th of 2020. Kyle Woodman was not there. These the girls haven't seen Kyle Woodman for 12 years, for multiple of the years. This was dealt with when Mr. Deacon was trying to get a restraining order out of all the district court, which was denied. So my client does not have the girls in the presence of Kyle Woodman. They haven't been over their aunt's house since September because of this issue. You know, she loves the girls, they love her, but because of what Mr. Cusenzo keeps alleging, now he, now they can't go over and see their aunt. Um, Mr. Cusenzo, in one of her complaints, she says that my clients refused blood transfusions, if any. This, this complaint's all over the place, Your Honor. It's ridiculous. And my client has done nothing wrong. He is the sole custodian of the two girls. He, he does what's best for them. He's a great father. The kids are up to date on all the medical treatments. Ms. Secret Center was aware of all the medical providers, but I've had to send her emails because the medical providers have threatened to not treat the girls because of the constant harassment that she has done in phone calls to these medical providers. Um, I provided a, a response to this complaint with a memorandum outlining her exact point she is trying to make and the exact response to my, to my client. You know, I'm going to actually dismiss this. This is ridiculous. Uh, Ma'am. Mm -hmm. Question for you. As it relates to uh, Kyle Whitman's house, counsel has indicated that um, the children, while they've been brought to your sister's house, Mr. Whitman was not there. Do you have any proof that on August 7, 2022, Mr. Whitman was at home with your children? It's his me. Yes. And I submitted that to his co the court. That is his mailing address. I actually re um, got a document from the post office proving that that is his mailing address. I submitted it to the court, and the court is insistent on trafficking my children. The court never had a right to take away my kids to begin with. And most of the stuff that the plaintiff is bringing up is none of the court's business. There, the, no one has ever even said that there was any sort of abuse on my part this 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 my children should not have been taken away to begin with that's kid, this is kidnapping and i'm outright saying the court kidnapped my children they broke my constitutional right for that contract that abby ross judge abby ross signed off on to be protected, and they kidnap my children, and they cause the death of my unborn child because of the stress. I want this to be made right. None of this would have happened had they obeyed that contract that the plaintiff and I did agree on. None of this would have happened. Anything else you'd like to add today regarding your contempt? Yeah, I've also proved that the plaintiff and his lawyer committed fraud of court. They have lied, and I proved that in the last court hearing multiple times to the court. They continue to lie because they are being enabled by the court. 
So I'm not, I, I forgive the plaintiff. I don't forgive the court. As I proved in the last court hearing, the plaintiff and his lawyer has lied numerous times to the court. And I forgive that. I do. Because what I don't forgive is the court enabling the plaintiff and his lawyer to lie to the court and get away with it many, many, many times. And I have it all on, it's all recorded. So <laughs> the court has to stop enabling this. All right, I've, uh, it's kidnapping. Ma'am, I'm gonna take the matter under advisement. Uh, counsel, I'm gonna take the matter under advisement. I'll issue an order. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, thanks, ma'am.